I'm Evan Seaman, Professor of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology at Rice University. And I'm standing here in one of the largest remaining pieces of coastal tall grass prairie in the United States. So the grassland I'm standing in here has hundreds of species of plants and insects and native birds. And over here you can see an area that was last mowed in 1968. It's a monoculture dominated by a single species of tree, the exotic Chinese tallow tree. All of those grassland insects, birds, and plants are gone. It's more than a junk tree. So tallow tree is a noxious weed in the state of Texas. It's actually illegal to have these in your yard. And one of the things that we're trying to understand is how it's evolved or changed here in its new range. So we collected seeds and leaves from populations across North America and China and then we did genetic analyses to reconstruct the relationships among those populations. So Ben Franklin sent the first tallow tree seeds to a friend in Savannah, Georgia in 1772. But we now know that the tallow trees here on the Gulf Coast are not from that original introduction. The ones here in the Gulf Coast came from a federal program around 1900. And the ones around here come from Shanghai area of China Ben Franklin's came from somewhere in the south and west of China. So Ben Franklin brought the tree over for people to use it as a crop plant. Each of the seeds yields a little bit of oil that can be used for cooking. And then the inside seed has another kind of oil which is useful for industry. And it never worked out as a crop plant. So instead of being a useful crop plant, it's taken areas that were grasslands and coastal areas and turned them into these monoculture forests of invasive trees. This area here would have been a diverse coastal prairie full of birds and insects, lots of species of plants, and now this is pretty much just only tallow tree, few insects, few birds, very little value in terms of biodiversity. Each of these trees can produce a quarter to a half million seeds per year, and they completely saturate the environment and the landscape. As the coastal prairie gets destroyed by tallow tree invasion, at the small scale, you're replacing hundreds of species of plants with one species of plant. You're replacing hundreds of native species with a single exotic species. And on a larger scale, as this happens, you could have local extinction or even extinction of a number of species of plants and insects. And a big part of Texas's natural heritage is gone. <laughs>